What's up all you cool snakes and neonates? How's it going? I hope you're all keeping well. So guys, we've got an, inter uh, an interesting one today for you. Shelby here had a shed a little while ago. And when she shed, she left this little mess in her water bowl. That little mess could be a boy's little mess, if you know what I mean. So we're going to have to sex her. Now, she came from a reputable breeder, but they were also, that breeder also labelled them as hypos, and they're not hypos. So, hopefully they didn't get the sex wrong as well, because we got a male and female for the purpose of breeding this awesome species. If we end up having two males, there's going to be no point in having two males. And then comes the really hard decision of which of my babies do I sell on, do I, do I pass on, you know what I mean? Um... So we're going to have to probe her and find out if it is a girl or if it's a boy. Now probing most snakes is not too bad. These guys are a nightmare because they backtrack. They actually sort of wander backwards. They're really sort of lively. Um, she's going to be interested. If I can't manage it on my own, Kirsten's going to have to get her hands on here, guys. And uh, she's going to have to hold her down while, while I stick a bit of metal up her butt, basically, is what we're going to do here. So yeah. Um, unfortunately, we can't do Tigger right now because he's deep in shed. But we will do Tigger as soon as he comes out of shed, if this is unsort of sure. Um, I'm going to be honest here, guys. I have only probed one snake previously in my life, and that was um, Homer, the royal python that we took in recently. And Homer turned out to be Marge. <laughs> he turned out to be a girl. So um, if I was right. And what I did, which I'm fairly certain I was, because I've done plenty of research, I've looked up on it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that was our practice was on Homer. Now we're going to go and try it on Shelby here and see if Shelby is a Shelby or if she's a Henry. hook the snake behind you like so and then have this hand here like this now this is a false water cobra for you new guys this is venomous hello yes that is your butt really now you guys, I don't hide anything from you guys. I show you the good, the bad, the ugly, the learning and all that kind of stuff. And right here, right now, we are learning. No, I would definitely say that's not going in. So I would definitely say that would be a girl. There we go. I'm going to double check. The old lube there. Yeah, you're hitting a the wall there. Yeah, I would definitely say we've got a girl there, guys. The price is averted. So it turns out, she's a girl. That's good news, unless I've done that wrong, I'm gonna get some more practice with some of the other animals that I know to be definite, and then I'm gonna go back to her again. Because like I say, this is all new to me, this sort of sexing stuff, but I figured I'd have to get good at it. If we're gonna be breeding animals, we're gonna to have to sort of learn how to do this. So, this is all practice. And as they say, practice makes perfect. So, as far as I'm aware, this is a girl, because that should go in a lot further if it's a boy. When Tigger comes out of shed, we're going to try on Tigger just to double check that I was doing it right, because Tigger, pretty certain, is a male, with the difference in growth and all that kind of stuff. There you go, sweetheart. Are we still friends? Are we still friends? You know Dad's sticking stuff up your butts. Are we? Are you sure? Oh, thank you for that kiss right there. But isn't she beautiful? And I mean... Even though we've seen that boy mess in her water, the only thing I could think that being, because she did it while she was shedding, is possibly 
When they shed, they build up a layer of fluid between the old and the new layer of shed. And when that layer of fluid builds up between their skin, that's when they go what's called opaque, when their eyes go blue and all that kind of stuff. The only thing I could think of that may have been with maybe some residue of that sort of fluid in between the layers of skin when she's gone through the water for her bath, it's maybe come off of her. And it's the only thing I could think it would have been um, to explain that, unless I was wrong in my diagnosis that I got there. But I mean, you look at the difference of the two of them. I mean, her growth rate is ridiculous. She is massive compared to him. She is huge. Um, for there only been a few months between them, I think he was born July and she was September or something like that. They're very close together, but their growth rate is completely different. So that in itself said to me that this was the female because of the size. Um, I just had to make doubly sure um, for that. And like I say, I hope I did that right. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, we will double check, like I said, in the future. And if there's no change, we will leave it at that. And you guys won't hear anything else until we start pairing them in a couple of years' time. Woohoo! So that is the beautiful Shelby. She'll keep that name. And it looks like we're keeping her too, which is good news, guys. So thank you very much for tuning in. As always, like, subscribe, comment, uh, share the page around, hit the bell button, all the good stuff. You guys know what you're doing. Take it easy. Peace.